girls attacking the field for the final of the girls division Queensland Mental Health Rugby League Nines Carnival. They've both been dominant in their pool games all day. Should be a very exciting fixture. Margaret Mary's running left to right and have elected to kick off. St. Patrick College, the Strand, in the blue and white jerseys. <laughs> kick off on the 30 metre line up and taken in a dominant tackle. Screw from dummy half, beats one. Very strong contact. Bullocking run met by three, still going. Third tackle here. Goes to the left edge. Taken. Big tackle still going. Uh, and knock on there. Calls of a strip, but the referee has called a knock on. No scrums and nines footy to promote uh, quick play. Strong run. Still going. Still going. Plays the ball. Looks to pass. It. Passes. Goes to to the left. Bit of space. Bit of open space. Over the 30. Over the 20. Over the 10. And St. Margaret Mary's will score the opening try of the grand final. Improves the kick. Right there for, I believe it was number eight from St. Margaret Mary's. Uh, St. Margaret Mary's looking very dominant through the pool, pool games. They um, met St. Pat's early on, and Adam, what'd they get up by a try? By a try over St. St. Pat's, so they're going into this game, heavy favourites. Excellent kick. St. Margaret Mary's up, 6-0. Robert, do you know if they've got any NQ players out there? NQ. I'm not sure about NQ, but I know there's a couple of representatives for the Townsville Blackhawks under 17 girls side that played, would have been towards the end of last term. And, and there's a few representatives from other sports, as is common in girls sports. I think you'll find a few representative touch players and Oz Tag. Winners kick as well on Nines footy. Let's see if St. Pat's can bounce back. Ball is taken on the full. And is taken. Keeps going. Breaks one. Oh, good contact. Good run. Good footy. St. Pat's play ball on their 40. Scoot draws in the first defender. Down the sideline. Shows a bit of... T Over the sideline. Very nice footy there from St. Pat's. Unfortunately, it did not pay off this time. <laughs> Play resumes. Tackle one there. We'll say St. Margaret Mary so far have done a really great job of taking the ball to the line before passing. 
Pass their dummy half. Again, there, as you can see, they're taking the ball in line, drawing the defenders, shaping the pass. And they're just tucking the ball under. Very effective so far. Good pass there, dummy half. The six for St. Margaret Marys. Looks to pass, tucks it under. Offload, still going. Oh, no, referee is called and held. Half scoots, pass it under. Very strong run here. Same hats. I think she might just go all the way. Oh, this is going to be close. Can't quite see. Try time. Number eight again. Been very hard to stop in the opening half. Three letters, four points. Try, try, try. We've actually got um, the brains behind this whole mental health carnival, Adam Whittington. What's uh, what's the reasoning behind putting in all this effort to um, come up with a tour tournament to, to raise awareness for mental health? What's what's um, what's driving you? Thanks, Sean. It's just um, it's a great way of bringing all the schools together across the diocese just to to initiate those conversations. And, and the best way to actually um, create positive mental health is actually moving your body. So playing a, a great sport like Rugby League Nines, it's, uh, it's a great leveler, it doesn't matter what level you're at, it can be from touch, it can be from Oztag, soccer, AFL, but playing Rugby League Nines, it's a nice open game, um, has a positive effect on the body, so that's that's one uh, key key thing to getting our uh, positive mental health. St. Margaret Marys with the drop kick received by St. Pat's. Beats one. She's still going. Tackle two there. St. Pat's trying to get something going for half time. Great contact. Still going though. I just think if St. Pat's can get the ball over halfway and build some pressure. They might experience some success. Great contact. Looks to pass. Offload. Play on. Beats one. Might want to straighten up. A straight end does. Tackle three there. Only a set of five tackles in nine's footy as opposed to six. Last tackle there, 30 out, middle of the field. So while I got you here, Alan, how, how can a, a girl play nines? What are the pathways to go on to play? Um, say, for example, if a girl wanted to play nines. Question, Sean. The way the NRLW is here and the Cowboys now being uh, positioned is it? Couples like this are, are paramount to uncovering uh, raw talent, especially from other sports, like I mentioned before. Um, last year, in that final play between St. Margaret Mary's and Gilroy, I think six months actually ID'd by Ben Jeffries at that final, and John uh, North Coast and Cow was a captain. So, definitely in uh, women's rugby league and its infancy in North Queensland, carnivals like this definitely uncover a lot of, a lot of diamonds in the rough. I find um, that Touch and Oztag are obviously really big in, in North Queensland and Netball. Do you find yourself recruiting from other sports and, and teaching them to play rugby league? Or what do you do with that? So, yes and no. Obviously, the girls' game is going through the roof participation wise, but a lot of them do still tend to play their, their original There are plenty of girls that have even graduated to school. Try time for St. Patrick's. Under the post, 8-4. Sorry. But uh, great attacking display there from St. Pat's. They would have bounced back. Sorry to cut you off, Mr. Uh, Adding No worries, mate. Just uh, talking about those players from other sports. And yeah, most definitely, um, you definitely see those touch players. Like Tamika Upton's the best player in the game. She's from Australian Touch. and It's, it's great to see multi-sport athletes, but so they continue to play touch locally. They continually play Oz Tag, Netball and then feature for their schools or, or go and sign up for Club Rugby League and that's how they get ID. Excellent. So, unsuccessful that kick. St. Margaret Mary's are up 10-4. <laughs> uh, 
And that's half time with Margaret Mary's up 10 4 over St. Pat's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to our roving commentator, the organiser of, of the Cardinal, Adam Winton, as he speaks to the coaches and some of the messages they relay to their team at half time. Yeah, thanks, Matt. The uh, coach, Daniel Strickland of St. Patrick's College, spoke about um, just having a bit more tenacity in defence and getting off the line harder, having that bit more aggression to try and force some errors. St. Margaret Mary's coach just spoke about closing out the game, just not going away from what they're, what they're already doing. So they're, they're doing a really good job there. Thanks, Matt. Back to you. Just while we're kick off, and being, the def being the, one of the assistant coaches in charge of defence for the Cowboys and NRLW side, is there anything you've seen out there in the opening half that you think the girls might want to uh, amend? They've probably just got to slow their feet down into contact, to be honest. They're, they're very eager and getting up fast, but there's been a couple of little misses. If they just slow their feet down, they'll probably make a few more dominant tackles. Well, for some, this is the fourth game they've played today, so we'll see, we'll see how they go. They're probably running on tired legs. Down the sideline, down the sideline, number nine from St. Margaret Mary's College. Shows a fresh, fresh set of heels and improves the kick and scores. 14 4. That is how you want to start a half of football. Yeah, St. Margaret Mary's looking really solid out there. Obviously, um, you can tell that they've played confraternity. How many years, Anna, have they played confraternity? Comp I think this is their second year. So for a, f a fairly new side, it's really good to see St. Patrick's College make it all the way to the grand final. So they're not out of it yet. It's um, only 10 points in it. Kick to make this 16-4.
Kick unsuccessful. The score is 14-4 to St. Margaret Mary's. Looks like they've gone with a fairly short kickoff. St. Patrick's College has got the ball, beats one. Gets the offload, oh, knock on. Well, one thing we've seen today at the uh, Cardinal is that giving up unforced errors coming out of your own end is critical. Seven for St. Margaret Mary, so the four. Pins the ears back, looks to pass, doesn't, keeps going. Yeah. Scores a wonderful try that will put St. Martin Mary's up 18 points to four. St. Martin Margaret Mary is showing their skill with the ball, being able to go from sideline to sideline, all in the one play. And there was space out there that, that they were able to capitalise on and score their fourth try of the game. St. Mark Mary's kicking off again, fielded by, on the full, by the three, beats one, beats some strong defence, still going in the tackle. Tackle two there, taking just short of halfway. Great run, finds, finds a front, but unfortunately, the referee has identified a error before they're able, able to play the ball. Yeah, this might be... Hold on. Just need to wait for the referee's signal to resume play. Strong tackle. Again, terrific, terrific service from the St. Margaret Mary's dummy half. Scoots dummy half. Signals to come under. Doesn't. Dummies. Keeps going. And tackle just short of the try line. The referee has identified some high contact. So it will be a penalty. Just short of the try line. Number 19, St. Margaret Mary's. Takes it to the line, passes. And I'm not sure what has happened here. I think they started without the referee's signal to resume. They now take the penalty tap. And 19 for St. Margaret Mary's. Takes it to the line. Met by three, gets a great pass. And a try just to the left of the upright. 22-4, St. Margaret Mary's. And a very strong display in this grand final. Even though they have fallen short in this game today, St. Patrick's College of the Strand are participating in what I believe is their first involvement in a rugby league carnival for girls. Um, and I think they could be more than proud of their efforts today reaching the grand final. And hopefully this is the start of something they can build on in, with years to come as the uh, 
the girls game continues to grow. Kickoff resumes from halfway again into space. Looks dangerous. Fielded by St. Pat's. And taken there. Screwed it from dummy half. Beats one and is through. She is away. Gets the fullback in and away. Taken strongly by the fullback. No one in a dummy half. The five from St. Patrick's Old College that would get there. And the referee has called some higher contact. Some fancy footwork by that number one made it an outstanding break. They're going left to number 22. Strong carry. Good defense. For number six, she's had an outstanding carnival at number six for St. Margaret Mary's. Knocked on by St. Pat's College. Coming up next, we've got in the grand final for the men's, we've got Ryan Catholic College taking on Columba Catholic College from Charters Towers. Nine again. Beats one. That would draw it in. Great interchange of passing there. Great contact. She is able to just stay in the field of play. Two passes to the middle. Beats one. Number 18, St. Margaret Mary's is taken in a tackle. St. Margaret Mary's is set up to the right. Goes to the first receiver. You'll find just a knock on there. And that is full time. Our winners of the 2023 Queensland Mental Health Week Rugby League Nines tournament for the girls is St. Margaret Mary's College. Congratulations. Avenging last year's loss in the grand final and able to come away successful in 2023. Congratulations to the girls and all staff involved. Please join us shortly after the uh, presentations of, of this game for the uh, boys grand final which will kick off at 4 50.
College from Townsville versus Columbia Catholic College all the way from Charter to Towers now. Both sides going through the pool games undefeated. Columbia Catholic College has taken out the NRL School Board Trophy this year and also winning the Div 2 Confraternity uh, Shield. So they're coming off the back of a, uh, one of their probably best years um, in a very long time. Ryan went through undefeated in the in the pool games, just edging it out over Good Shepherd, 12-6 um, in their final game to, to make it through to the final. A couple of players to watch for Ryan Catholic College, Mitch, Mitchell Maher, who's, who's just about to do the dropout, Taj Croft, the fullback, and Riley McIntyre, the halfback. Columbia not with the best start, with a knock-on off the kickoff. Tackle two there. Very good start for Ryan. Not so much for Columba. Out the back. Oh, no. Unfortunately, a injury here will be right back. Fortunate to see uh, Mitchell Maher go down, but seems like a suspected knee injury. He's been instrumental to Ryan's success today, so hopefully it's not too severe of an injury. Sean, you spent a bit of time with Mitchell through our touch programs at Ryan Catholic College. How do you think his transition to rugby league's gone? Um, yeah, he's actually really blown me away this tournament. So. He's only in grade 10. Um, he's a, he's a touch, NQ touch player, and um, he plays club rugby union, but he hasn't played a lot of league. But today he's, he's really shown um, his ball skills and his, his speed off the mark has been really handy for, for Ryan. Um, him, Taj, and Riley have definitely been in the, in the top three players for Ryan this, this carnival. Riley with a kick through. <laughs> Columba working out of their own end. He's running sideways. Somebody give him a compass. He brings him under. Darcy. Up quick, Jova. Ryan really got to watch out for the number 11 for Columbia Catholic College. He's been having an outstanding carnival. He's got man of the match in one of the games earlier. He's got the ball now. See what he can do. Beat one, two, three. Let's see if he can beat. Got to watch that number 11. I've heard of a commentator's curse before, but I'm not sure what the opposite of, of it is, but Max Campbell from the Columba Catholic College just went through right on cue after a big rap from uh, my co-commentator. There was a turnover there from Columba. Ryan now have it on the second tackle coming out of their own end, end just shy of their 40 metre line. We've got Riley playing it to Aston Smith with the offload back to Riley McIntyre Taj Croft he's got speed and footwork Darcy Pool with the ball in hand takes him on 
solid run. Columba on the back foot here, it's fifth and last. Riley beats one, puts a, puts a kick up, to charge down. Six more, Ryan got the ball. Chester Hobbs, the carry, finds his front. He's actually a rugby union player, played for North Queensland this year, under 16, to play at the back. Taj Croft, two on one. Lucifer in the corner. One handed put down. And it's a try for Ryan Catholic College. What do you reckon, Robbo? Very good backline movement there from Ryan. Fancy put down, look like he laid an egg, but it'll count all the same. 4 0. Ryan Catholic College in the grand final. I think one thing we've seen from Nines is they've been able to get the balance right of holding onto the ball and using the width of the field. Um, very instrumental to uh, building pressure, as we've just seen there from Ryan. Sean, one thing I wanted to ask you, you haven't, you know, been experienced international player in many sports. What experience do you think Columbia can take, considering that they've played in three grand finals this year already, having won them all? For example, our North Queensland Independent Secondary Schools Rugby League competition, the Division B Confro Final, and just recently the Queensland State Queensland Schoolboy Championships. What experience can they take from those grand finals? They'll help them here this evening. Um, I think they just obviously they have a fairly new new squad this year, but um, they've played those big games. So um, just because Ryan scored early, I wouldn't count Clumber out. They're a very strong side. Um, they played a lot of footy this year, uh, a lot of really good footy, um, and I'm sure they'll come back any minute now. When his kick fielded there by Columba, returns it just past the 30 metre line. Columba organising to their left. They go right. Max Campbell beats one, beats two. Don't give him room to run. Do not give him room to run. Still going. Take just over the 50. A gain of 20 metres on that run. Gone backwards, I agree. Yes. Taken there. This will be last just over their 40. Pass out to the 10 on the wing. Draws in the winger. The three's in space. Kick on the left. Is that too big? No, it's not fielded by the Ryan fullback Taj. Is he able to get out of the end goal? No, he is just, just, just short. Very enterprising footy, very entertaining footy there from Columba. Going from sideline to sideline, side a kick, a chase, and they get a repeat set. Yeah, good set by Columba. Obviously played off the back of that number 11. Um, Taj sort of found himself a little bit out of position, so he needs to position himself better when they put that kick through. But um, let's see if they can hold him out here. Here we go, number 11 again. They'll wrap the ball up. It's been about five defenders. Let's see what they come up with here. Out to the left, off number two. Number seven takes it on himself. To get it, it's pulled up short, just short of the line here. Columba are over in the corner. Not quite sure of the try score there, but that try, the pass before was held just enough to give his outside man the room just to slide in the corner there. Columba showing their experience and their skill there with their interchange of passing. Very good, very, very good sign. Conversion to be taken by Brock Harrington. Unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. We've got four all here. It's a very exciting game. We'll see what um, type of kickoff Columba are going to go with. Are they going to go for the short ten and, and try and receive the ball? Or are they going to pin Ryan back? Uh, near their own goal line and make them work out. <laughs> Mr. 
Masudi with a very strong carry. He's, uh, he's actually a soccer player. I think he's only ever played rugby league twice. Nice tip on by Aston Smith. Penalty there, Ryan's ball. Let's see if they kick the touch. Doesn't. And it just goes. We've probably got less than two plays left. 20 seconds. Another strong carry by Masudi. Jova's lining up. They're playing very one one out footy. And that's the hooter. And that's half time. So we've got a four all draw with Ryan and Columbo going into half time. Once again, a big shout out to Annan Whittington for putting on this whole day. Um, what do you think of the standard of footy? Uh, is this the fourth year you've, you've fifth year that um, this Nines Carnival has been held? Yeah, mate. It's it's the first year it's been uh, run through the, the um, predominantly through the middle of the day. So we used to kick it off at two o'clock and run through to the night. So you always see probably a bit more faster footy once the, the sun goes down. So some of the heat today has probably taken its toll on some some footy sides not used to playing in the middle of the day, but. All in all, it's been been uh, some great performances, and I know uh, talking to some of the Blackhawks development guys and the, the Cowboys that were down here, they've, they've been really impressed. Especially, especially the exposure it gives to some of the country sides coming in uh, from as far as Mount Isa and Abergarry and Burdekin. I think you haven't seen the growth of the carnival over the last five years. Would have been 2019 we started with just four schools to today, where we had 15 schools, sub schools, seeing both the boys and girls school and what do you contribute the I guess the growing popularity of the carnival down to? I think I mentioned throughout the uh, girls final it's just nine's rugby league is a great leveler so 13 aside rugby league you're starting to look at those heavyweights always dominating like your Columba Catholic colleges for Ryan and Columba what's it for all boys? Four all in a final that's that's why nine's rugby league for me is is a great leveler and a lot of schools get behind that so anyone can win on the day um, I think also just the messaging behind the carnival, I think a lot of schools have now bought in with their own Queensland Mental Health Week um, initiatives throughout the week leading into the carnival. I know we had a, a breakfast with a, a guest speaker, Ray Thompson, yesterday and, and the whole week um, gets, I suppose, supported by the, by the college community at Ryan and I know Southern Cross from my time there definitely get behind it as well. So I think, well, I think we're at our maximum with 16, so um, probably got one girl spot open for next year, but it's been great to see the growth come to, to 15 this year. Um, outstanding to see. Uh, just one last thing before you go, on. And, uh, one of the things we mentioned earlier, and I know I'd like to see it, would be um, the inclusion of Year 7 and 8s into the tournament. Um, do you have any any sort of interest in getting the juniors involved? I know you love your gala days. Yeah, I'm, I'm known for loving my gala days, um, especially in the younger age group, so it could be something we could look at. I know the um, Blackhawks and Brothers guys were here earlier from their development teams. And they may mention about utilising their fields next year if we need to, to swing the gate open and, and place them under 13 and 14s. But I suppose that'll come down to school communities backing that and, and we'll um, review this carnival at the end of it and, and uh, look towards 2024 after it. Sounds good, mate. Thanks for your time, Adam. Can't wait. Bigger and better every year. Just about to kick off Columbo with the drop kick to start the second half. I've just noticed that Ryan Catholic College are missing uh, Maddox Mancuso and Ryan Stoddard are, are not kitted up for this game. So they've lost um, two, two of their middle forwards. So let's see how much depth they've got later into the second half. Knock back. Oh. Refs called it a knock on. Let's play the whistle. Let's see how they respond to this. Robbo, every time this number 11 from Columbo gets the ball, he makes about 20, 30 metres. How are Ryan going to stop him? 
there are a lot of tired bodies out there. I think you've just got to get up off the line. Numbers and tackles. First point of contact has to be shoulders. But Columbia go to the left. The 12 out to... Oh, no! A try has gone begging. That was... Unfortunately, he's got hands like a digital clock. Unlucky out there. The ball was a bit above his head. Um, here we go. Ryan's with the tap. Probably a bit too open there. Chest is through. All they needed was that pass on the chest before and they would have been over in the corner. Ryan with the ball. Tip on to Jova. Asson loves that tip on. He, he runs in pairs and he gives a late tip on Lucifer driving his legs. Darcy, Taj, give him some room. He's very, very quick and he's got good feet. Oh, he's gone. He's bring it around under the post. Great try for Taj Croft. Still plenty of time left for Columba. I've seen a bit from Taj at fullback, often playing two years up. When he opposed on the cross this year, I was very impressed with him. Even still playing in a uh, age group under, just what he is capable of against kids his own age. Very, very impressed. Looking forward to seeing his development over the years to come, although I suspect it might be trouble for other schools such as Southern Cross. So Robbo, just while we've got this little bit of a break, waiting for the footy, so Southern Cross's performances today, did you feel the, a youngish side, or what did you think about your your um, boys today? Yeah, look, we're unlucky in our first game. One of the games we probably could have won. Uh, we only had a 10 minute break before we had to play again. And then we went against uh, two time winners, Abigail, before playing back to back against two time chance Columba. So, anyway, back to the game here. Referee has called a penalty. Not sure what happened there. 50 50 calls. This one going the way of Columba. Don't have too much time to waste. They will tap. They will tap and go. Finds his front. We'll be lucky to get one marker here. Some Campbell. Back on the middle. Met well there around the legs by number 14 from Ryan. But he's still going. And he is held there to the left, upright. Dummy half scoots. Passes to the seven, beats one. Taken strongly in a tackle. Campbell, again. Campbell back on the inside. Great defence there from Ryan. Pushing up both sides of the ruck there. Last tackle here. Will they kick? Will they run? Oh, hit short. Great tackle there by Jova from Ryan. Proves to be very important. Hand over there. Ryan working out of their own end. Outstanding defence there by Ryan Catholic College. Jova, unbelievable. Ryan to play the ball. We've got um, Riley takes a scoot to the short side. Always have had a very, very good carnival. Jova tips on to Lucifer. Still plenty of time left. Aston generally likes to tip on, but he, he takes it one off the ruck. Yeah, tough carry. Aston's only 15. Darcy Poole, will he run it? Let's see what they come up with. Oh. Ryan here slowing it down. They might kick it in the touch and they're up. Darcy with a carry. Aston with another one.
Riley to the line, hits Jova short, keeps pumping his legs. Scores 10 4. Riley gives it off to Chester, plays it back to Darcy. Darcy takes it on and he stays in. Uh, held up in the corner. Bringing it back for the play the ball for the last tackle. Let's see if Ryan can get a piece out here. Robbo, what do you think Palumba got to do to turn this around? This tackle is probably the most important of the game. Either Ryan get a repeat set or they score. And they might put it out of reach for Columbus. So very important here. Game on the line. Only a matter of minutes left. Last tackle, 10 out. Time back on. Seven, they go to the right to Taj. Beats one, straightens up, beats another. Calls of Shepard and the referee will oblige and call it. That is a massive call. But I think he just got stuck behind a couple of his lead runners there. Play quick, there's the call. They tap and go, will they quit? I don't know what they're doing. They, they decide to tap. Great contact there from Ryan. Let's tackle one. Game on a knife's edge. Tackled two there. The half goes short to Campbell. Two defenders there to meet him. Still going. Taken there, number three. Like to see some ball movement here. No, it wasn't Campbell, sorry. Nine goes for a streak. They go left to the seven. Great tackle there. Ball's free. Still play on. Twelve straightens up. Looks lively. Last tackle here. We'd like to see Columbus run. What do they do? Unfortunately, they don't get a chance. Referee is not in fight. Knock on in the play of the ball there. A minute to go. If Ryan can complete, they win. All Ryan got to do is control the ball. There's less than a minute left. If they complete this set. Oh, and we've got a one-on-one -on -one rate with a minute to go. Columbo with the ball. They've got yeah. to the camera, don't they? they got to watch this number 11. He's no been dominating every team all day. Oh, and he's knocked it on. And Taj has got the ball. About less than 30 seconds left. Oh, and Ryan's knocked it on. Oh. Columbus play the ball. Less than 20 seconds. 17 seconds to go. Game on the line. 10-4. Campbell. He's away. Campbell. He beats one. Still going. Still going. Full of King Run. Last play. Sirens went. Let's see if they can shut them down. They got him on the outside here. He's went back to number four. They got to get up. They put the kick through. Oh no. Ryan have taken the ball. Oh, and they've sent him off. Jaden Archie's been sent. It's nine on eight. They just got to make sure they don't score near the post here. It's a very hard drop goal to make. It's 10-4. If they score it wide. Oh, they've kicked it back. The number, oh. They've got it. Pins the ears back, just got straightens it. up. Back on the inside. The fullbacks kicks it. The they've kicked the it. Boot. Off the side of the boot. Oh, Cohen's oh. caught it. <laughs> He's <laughs> caught it. What a game. What a finish. Ryan Catholic College couldn't make that any harder. Outstanding carnival. Congratulations to both sides. 10-4 to Ryan Catholic College. Outstanding game. Struggling to find the superlative to describe that last play. It was, it was hectic. 
Well, and that's the nature of nines. Pretty, pretty good summary of what we've seen here today. Congratulations, 2023 champs, Ryan Catholic College. Thank you for tuning in for this live stream, and we'll see you again in 2024.